How's it going, boys? Today we're playing Drugs with Friends, aka Roy Droid Super Friends. Now, some of you said that the Fari Roy Droid deck was unreasonably off the top. Well, this deck is even a hundred times more off the top and unnecessary and strange and everything. So, this is a Super Friends deck pumped up to the brim with everything that we can to make it absolutely ungodly. So, two Fountains of Renewal, four Anticipates, two Cast Downs, three Guys Blessings, two ass three Assassin's Trophies, four Dovins Acuity, two Immo uh, Mortifies, one Chromatic Lotter, and don't ask me why, four Masterminds Acquisition, four of Vraska's Contempts, two Kai's Rat, three Primal Amulets, three Cleansing Nose, two Sanguine Sacraments, and a Sideboard. One Kaya. Two Nicholas Balls, one Tezzeret, two uh, Out of Teferi, one, two Tefari Hero of Dominaria, two Rals, which I never have used by the way, two Angrams, one Hu Huatli, Huatli, the dinosaur chick, and two Vraska Relic Seekers version. Oh yes. This deck wins by playing Planeswalkers, and we have 23 lands. And everything is fine with the land. Well, nothing's fine with the lands. Ab absolutely nothing is fine with the lands. So this deck wins by controlling and dropping planeswalkers. You know, when you crush your enemy's hopes and dreams and squeeze his soul so tightly the last drop of the essence of existence drops, you then drop planeswalkers and he understands that he now needs to wait until he's destroyed. Oh yes! If this is not the best timeline, I don't know what is. So, anyway, let's get into it. And we have something interesting. We have Patreons to thank. So, first of all, Michael Stockley. I don't know why couldn't you just be called Michael Stacy, because that's something I could easily pronounce. Thank you. And Oven, or Oven, or o Oven77, whatever you want to pronounce or call yourself. Also, thank you. You're one of those rare people who changes their pledge, so there you have it. You're 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 the first one. You're kind of special in that case. So yeah, that just happened. Anyway, let's start playing this stuff. We're gonna control him, and this is as honestly expected. A something something deck. He's playing cards. I'm 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 not clairvoyant usually. Well, sometimes I am. But you know, I kind of expected him to drop and play cards. Not gonna lie. A hundred percent expectante right there. Okay, so the only problem here is we need to use cards. Play and win. Well, next turn we actually get to... Do I want to get rid of... Yes, I do. I think I do. So, we're gonna do this. We have Sangman Sacrament and the Amulet. So essentially we can kind of stale away our defeat, victory, or whatever you want to call it. And do I have Vraska's? No, it looks like we have Vraska's first. So the main point of this deck is flipping the amulet and playing a lot of Dovins. That's pretty much it. Dovin, the card that people thought was shit, just because of that one simplistic reason that, well, it... The only reason people thought it's a bad card is because of that simple fact that, you know, you, you need to play instants on sorcery speed, and people say that's bad. You obviously have not met me, because I only play instants at sorcery speed. I don't know what actually instant is even. People called me an idiot for it. I, but I have to say, I think that this, that this card was exactly meant for me. So, can we actually somehow win. Well, we can try. We do have Sangwin Sacrament for 4, it seems like, or something like that. So that essentially does make us live a little bit longer. So that's 8 HP, and in that time we can pro po probably, or slash possibly, draw something good. You know, options always exist. Cleansing, no, definitely good, but again, for now we can stale off the dread and dead. Okay, that's also pretty useful. Am I gonna... Yes, I'm gonna pay the life total. I wanna play cards. A lot of cards. 
Okay, and also we need to find something that actually deals with uh, the Adanta Vanguard. And nothing here deals with the Adanta Vanguard. I'm going to take the land because it's you know, something we can get more value out of Sanguine Sacrament. So hopefully he doesn't... Okay, that's an annoying one, but hell, at least that's you know, dealable with. The Adanta Vanguard is the only problem here. Adanta Vanguards are kind of the disdain and spoilage of pretty much everyone, every control deck because they're just so annoying and flat out broken to get rid of. It's pretty insane. Okay, so what's the play now here? Oh, the play is we lose. Got it. Absolutely got it. Okay, I'm gonna use this one time because we need to get the Vraskas back. Completely worth it, it seems like. Okay, do we get a spell that we can cast? Well, we get a Sanguine Sacrament. Well, this is not going to be as good, but it's not going to be as bad. So, Sanguine Sacrament for 6. Going to survive a little bit more. We flood the amulet, which means we can Sanguine Sacrament for a lot more next time. So, are we dead? I haven't done the mat just yet, but are we dead? That's the question. That's the million dollar question. Ooh, I think we're dead. Matt? Dead. Yep. Well, shit. He actually got us exactly on lethal. Okay, that was a bit unlucky. But the Danto Vanguards. You can't win against the Danto Vanguards. And considering this deck has only done winning in the past games, I guess that's expected to lose one time. But yeah, I could easily put in, you know, something that creates minus the counters on things, but usually it's not a problem and I, unless I press the record button. Yeah, two assassins, trophies, and nothing to cast them with. Seems like a perfect hand. Okay, can't wait to see what this guy does. Destroy targeted uh, permanent Napoleon controls. If the uh, blah 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 basic land. Why doesn't don't planeswalkers, by the way, count as permanents? I have tried to use Assassin's Trophy on planeswalkers, but I never seem to be able to press the button for some strange odd un unspecific, uh, unspecific reason. So yeah. Okay, Chromatic Lottery coming in at the, ex at the exact right time, because I kind of need it. Wait. A red deck that's gonna drop... Well, I, I can't... Oh my god, he understood what's gonna happen. He understood, boys. He thought we were at the party deck. Well, in, in essence, we are the most convoluted, convoluted and nonsensical to party deck in existence, to a degree. So, he's not exactly wrong now, is he? Well, you know, all's fair in love and war, I think the saying goes. It's an old saying. Okay, <clears throat> what is this? Dovin, but we have cards that we can use, so I'm gonna keep this. Not exactly the high uh, highlight of the day, this hand, but at least it's stuff we can use. Admittedly, it has been pretty rare for... Oh, great, one more Danto Vanguard, I see. A man, a man of true taste. A, ma a man of culture. White deck aggro. Yeah, when the game wants you to lose, it's gonna just put you against... Oh, what the hell is this? Well, it's something anyway. Okay. The only real question is now, do we... I think we Assassin's Trophy instantaneously. There's absolutely no reason to wait. He's gonna run out of... or later, and that's pretty much the, the, uh, the highlight. Okay. So, do we have a 4-drop? I don't exactly know why you're splashing blue in your white deck, but... Okay. Well, that's a freebie turn if I get anything remotely close to useful. But it's fine. At least we get to cast this. Assassin's Trophy can go back in. It's not really a problem. Well, four mana. I can't say that that's exactly bad. By the way, I don't know exactly understand the thing, but Detection Tower and Reliquary. T oh, no, it's not. Wait a minute. What exactly is this? I don't know, but we need to play this and tap it for life. Okay, no, we need to do it like this. This is smarter. Okay, it's not smarter, but I think giving him card advantage at this situation is not exactly bad, bad. So, you know, is good. Okay, I could drop a second primal amulet and then try to be greedy and anticipate. They're probably just gonna kill this. They're probably just gonna kill that. It's the safe play. What the fuck is this? 
What? Holy shit, I'm confused now. What am I supposed to kill? This or this? Uh, let's just kill this one. It's fine. No, it's completely fine. Mortal ends. Not exactly bad at this stage. So yeah, we're not taking too much damage, so there's that bonus. But this thing now does become stronger and is perpetual card generation. And the difference was honestly just two damage, if we think about it. So I'm not sure if that was even the right play. I'm assuming he doesn't have anything to play with this, because he didn't play anything. So, ooh, a Johnny's. That's really bad. <laughs> That's actually really bad. <clears throat> Yep, oh! 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 Did not expect that, not gonna lie. Completely forgot we even did it. Okay. So, are we now gonna lose because reasons? Almighty reasons. Seems like that's an option. Actually, let's see now. What can we play? We can play one anticipate and see what we get. Maybe we get a board wipe. Cleansing Nova Kun. Uh, that's completely fine, honestly. Okay, we can play the Cleansing Nova. We can play this like this. We don't even lose any. And now we just decimate everything. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, good. Uh, that's pretty much as good as it gets. The only thing we need to worry now is the Johnny popping his thing. And that being uh, not Coolio, Brolio. So that's something. Not gonna flip the second amulet. Just gonna do card generation with Govins. What the fuck is this card? When Leas enters the battlefield, create wild soldiers. Sacrate with you power. What the fuck is going on? Wait, what? What? Oh, at least he can't attack. But he just got eight things. Holy moly. Okay, uh, yeah, things. So, look, I do this. Oh, now I can. So, you're telling me... So, you... Wait, is that a bug then? So, I'm, I'm actually not gonna even question it for now. We're just gonna leave it as it is. So, yeah, but is that a bug or something? I honestly don't know. Okay, the Vraskas is evil. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Uh, let's... We have the man. Yet we don't. Oh, so we need to kill... Let's just do it like this. It doesn't really matter at the end how it does it. Actually, no, it does matter. Shit. Boys, I'm an idiot. Again. None of you are surprised. I know. That's just life. That's just life. Being an idiot is part of my daily life. Okay, so I'm gonna do it greedishly now, because we do need to get card advantage. Well, more card advantage, essentially. Okay, so the play is like this. We Vraskas this and that, and hopefully do not die to random bullshit. Because, oh my god. Stop! Just stop! They're so annoying! Just stop! Well, at least we're getting 4 life. No, we're getting 6 life because Dovin. Yeah, options. Definitely options. God, he's just buffing the right things. I hate you. I hate you so much, Ajani. Ajani has honestly won just games off being a dick on his own. It's amazing. Okay, let's see. So we do this. Uh, do we drop this first? Yes, we drop this first. It doesn't matter too much, but it gives us a better chance of surviving. Okay, so we do that. Maybe we draw something that clears the... Nope, it doesn't. Actually, it could, but it doesn't. But it has potential. Okay, so we do this. Get rid of this. Why couldn't he actually put, like, the tokens on something that I not hate? God, the Johnny's Planeswalkers are the worst. Honestly, it's one of my most loved and hated Planeswalkers because it's just so good. His plus one is amazing, and his minus two is amazing, because in any deck you put it in, it's gonna have absolutely majestical value. So that's a thing. Okay, so, I can't do this, we're not dead next turn, and we can kill pretty much anything he drops. 
and they're gonna heal a decent amount so it's not exactly bad bad it's just slightly annoying okay it looks like also he's not doing anything so bonus points bonus points he didn't kill us so again bonus points i wonder what he has well reliquary tower good useful okay just need to make sure the right man is used because i really don't want to lose this for reason uh, more lands. Let's see. Yes, we can still cast the Assassin's Trophy. So that's good. Everything's going just right according to plan. Okay, so now we do this. And we just kill two things. Doesn't really matter which two things we kill as long as we kill two things. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Take action. Okay, do I use one Mastermind's uh, acquisition to get more Vraskas? That's like the big question here. It's like the million dollar question. And kill one of those. Okay, he's gonna get some lands, aka tin his deck. But that's fine. No one cares. You're, you're nothing. You're you're an aggro white player who has green who has blue for card draw. You disgust me. Okay, good. Man, I have never seen this card even being played. I have seen this card being played like once. But yeah, it doesn't seem like exact Oh, I know. Yeah. What you gonna do? Oh, he didn't even see it. He didn't see he didn't even see Okay, that's expected. Okay, so Mastermind's acquisition, the acquire a cleansing nova, it seems like, would be the best play. And that's all she wrote. Okay, we're gonna mastermind's acquisition a lot of things, it seems like. We're gonna acquire so many things he's probably just gonna tap out because why not? Okay. Uh Actually, do we want the Cleansing Nova or do we want the Kaias? Let's take the Kaias, even though I don't know if we have the mana to cast it properly. But let's just do it anyway. And let us get... Uh, a Vraskas, because I like Vraskas. Okay, do this. Okay, some uh, some mana left. Can we play anything? Oh god, we can play. Well, didn't matter too much, but yeah. God, Dovin is such a good just card generation advantage system it's painful it's honestly just painful okay drop the tower drop this tap for life because i'm not doing math it's annoying use the mastermind's acquisition acquire a taste for blood because reasons and now we can't get a bolus because we actually don't have red we can only do the uh, do the, this what else can we do well we're taking one tafari and we're taking one more out of the party yes always the out of the party okay out of the party by the way has a really good synergy with this card because you can just, you know, put it and it's gonna be amazing okay yeah take take action whatever and let's get uh land we have many acquisitions so it's fine we pretty much just need to get the, the reliable amount of things don't care what land untap but suddenly we're at the Fari deck an extremely elaborated useless the Fari deck uh, at that but we're the we're at the Fari deck okay so now we're gonna play no we're not gonna play that just yet we're gonna do this hey what are we actually even looking for we honestly just need a goddamn red land and then we can cast stuff well whatever we're, we're, we're gonna see what happens we are gonna see what happens. So we took one out. So we take this guy now because he's the only thing else that we play. And then we can take pretty much anything because we can't cast any. Oh no, we can cast the Vraskas. Okay. So we're gonna drop the out. Obviously, completely failed on that, but no one, sh no, no one, no one say a thing. So I'm gonna do this in that case. At least some value. Not really, but, you know, at least some value. Drop this. Oh, yeah. Tefari, Tefari, and Dovin. The holy trinity of stupidity. Okay, plus counters. We're gonna start exiling his lands, like, real soon. It's gonna be amazing, because I'm not gonna like it this even a bit. Uh, Reliquary Tower is up, so every, everyone has the hood. Okay. Uh, for some reason, we got a primal amulet back. Because I'm... I don't pay attention to things like at all. By the way, I'm pretty sure I did this a bunch of last games and I never or I never noticed. One of two things. 
either it always happened and I just didn't notice, or it never happened, then that's all she wrote. Okay, that's fine. He have a pigeon. Uh, what now? Uh, what exactly is your play now, good sir? You have a pigeon. God damn it. Pigeons suck. Actually, we could kill the pigeon. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the pigeon. Here, have a free land. The pigeon suddenly died, and he created a land. That's honestly pretty impressive if you completely think about it, but yeah. Okay, so next turn we pop the Tefari ulti. We sag the Tefari because I cannot be asked to play at the Tefari. Okay, still absolutely no uh, no red lands, by the way. I just want that to uh, to go on record. But we can still drop the Vraskas. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, by the way, the Vraskas is the best to drop, probably, because you can just pretty much almost insult. You drop the Vraskas, uh, you do the plus one. Then you acquire this, do the plus one and minus ten, and that you have a menace attacking, so that's something. He should probably surrender right about now, because honestly, look at this shit. Just, just, just look at it. Do you, you think, do you think any of this makes sense? It's like, oh, finally we have the blood crypt. Nice. Took, took forever, but we finally found it, boys. Okay, so let's anticipate something. We need to anticipate one more Mastermind's acquisition because, well, we're, we're doing the dream. I'm not gonna lie. We're, we're gonna do the dream. The dream is here. Eh, uh, nothing of this. But, okay, the dream is kind of almost here, you know? We're pretty close to it, so that's why we're drawing cards. I don't know how many cards this... One card! Well, at least that's something. Okay, do do it one more, t one more time, Tezzy boy. I actually forgot to proc the ulti, but that's fine. Hey, at least we have two pirate tokens now at the board. Like... We have already won. I'm not trying to rub this in. Maybe he has a start of extinction or something. You never actually know. So that's a, that's something. Also, who has seen five planeswalkers out at any moment? No one. Because no deck is so well made that it actually does it. My deck does it. And it does it with a bang. Also. Okay, so uh, Johnny's. You think that that 40 is going to scare me? No, it's not. It's disgusting. I, oh, he actually did something with it. Uh, he got a Johnny's Pride Seeker outfit. A Johnny rubbing his own Pride Seeker. Something's off. Anyway, it seems like we just need a little bit more. We have more mas- how many do we have left? We have four, so it's essentially possible for us to, uh, to get all of that good stuff. Okay, so what's the plan? We drop the Primal Amulet, and then maybe Tezzeret fetches us more cards. Draw a card if you control three or more artifacts. This is an artifact, yes. Yeah. This is this an artifact. No, it's not. Is this an artifact? It is. No! Oh. Oh, that's the play. Oh, that's not the play, by the way. Abs absolutely. Okay, we should probably do the, uh, the, do the Tafari thing, honestly. Put the Shrine. I, by the way, I make no calculations. I just always at this point play uh, play the tap uh, play the shocklands with the thing. So that's something. Okay. So draw cards because we need to draw Mastermind's Ac Oh my God! We can't even do anything with Mastermind's acquisition. Shit. No, no, now we can because we flipped the amulet. That's good. Okay, the amulet has been officially flipped to Reno. Actually, no, we still don't have... Oh, no, we can't. No, we played the wrong land! We played the goddamn wrong land! Oh, my God. We played the wrong land. We still have no red. Okay, uh, where exactly are any useful cards? Okay, just gonna do this. Let's see what happens. Just gonna do the ulti now. On myself? That's probably a stupid idea. Let's just say oops and pretend it's fine. Let's still ulti this and, you know, pretend that, you know, we're still winning. I just want to see how five planeswalkers look. Or ten planeswalkers. Well, wait, wait, what is this? The fuck is going when you draw a card ex Oh! Can I exile myself? No. Let's exile this thing because it's going. Ah. Well, in the exile it goes.
Now let's just drop a found in the safe. And any hopes that he has are going to be completely scrambled by the simple fact, oh, we have more of this stuff. Uh, we can drop one of these. There's absolutely no reason why not at this point. Okay. Oh, we draw lands, so we can exile more things. Nice. Well, not lands, but we draw stuff. Okay, I don't understand why he's not exactly giving up, but he's also take notice that he's not exactly giving up. I don't know why, and I don't understand why, but he's not. <laughs> he is just flat out not giving up. Okay, that's amazing. You have a monkey. Congratulations. Uh, I'm gonna Vraskas it. Just to prove a point at this point, because there's absolutely nothing left to do in this, uh, this in particular match. Well, we did accidentally ulti ourselves, and, well, we know that this wasn't an accident this time, but honestly, how many of you think I would accidentally ulti myself sooner or later? Because that can happen. I almost exiled my own stuff with the party because I forgot that we have the emblem. Yep, that's how life works. Guy's blessing, huh? Exile the, the blue lands. Okay. Uh, God Guy is Blessing, so that's actually useful, because we can get more Master Minds acquisitions back into the deck. And let's just get that extra Guy is Blessing back in. This is soon gonna tap. We don't exactly want it to tap, and we finally need to be smart enough to magically play a red land. And let's get rid of this. Yeah, turns out you can't even exile your own things with the party. None of my stuff was highlighted. Okay, that's fine though. Okay, drop the summit. Uh, let's drop the amulet. This actually serves a purpose because now this thing is gonna draw us three card, uh, two cards. I really don't like the Tefari emblem, by the way. Got it, lads. We did it. Mastermind's acquisition. Now we can get the bolas and the ebolas. Everything's absolutely perfect. Oh yes, <clears throat> this is the finest display anyone could ever ask from uh, from the ultra super steroid friends. God, what a time to be alive! The full beauty, the full beauty of this. Everything's working. The 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 Dovin is a cute draw engine on working on full full swing. Out of the Fari, an extremely underrated card that no one uses, working on even no more on full swing and pretty much everything. So we got the bolas. And do we want an Angram? Actually, we don't need an Angram because we can't play an Angram current. So we're gonna deal with, so we're gonna just deal with the Kaya. Wait, how is my red oh no, it's not gone. Thank thank Jesus. Wait, where is the red Oh, because there's oh my god. The game can't even handle all of the different lands that we have. That's how bad this game is, boys. That's how bad this game is. Okay. It would be pretty funny if I end up milling myself on accident, but hey, life. Life sometimes gives you lemons. Okay, so, uh, more things. Let's just create uh, top, uh, topper artifacts. Probably not even called topper artifacts. Okay, just get rid of random stuff and heal a little bit. By the way, you would be surprised how many, uh, uh, in how many instances Kaya, QT Kaya right there, uh, won us games. With this deck. It's pretty absurd, honestly, at the moment. Okay, I'm not gonna do the Defari because it's annoying. I'm gonna do the Raskas because we still need to get the points up so we can actually hit his face with the ulti. So yeah, uh, everything and anything is possible if you try hard enough, it seems like. I'm gonna drop this because we still need one more Mastermind's acquisition acquired. So we can get out Angram. And be really happy about ourselves. What is this? Oh, the exile part. Man, I always forget about it because it's honestly just so annoying for me to do it. Uh, we could do the Tefari, but we're not. Attack with everything. No fucks given, boys. Absolutely no fucks given. Okay, we're gonna do this one time. And then we're gonna play normal games. Where we don't, you know, take 20 extra minutes to play. Because, by the way, small fact. The longer the game goes, uh, the more it logs. The, the things we're doing actually kind of screw with the game pretty heavily. So that's something. Okay, draw cards. Oh, we can also bolus to draw cards. 
Uh, Dovin, not exactly useful, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of multiple lands again. This guy probably feels pretty bad about himself. I honestly can't even blame the fuck, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, let's drop a Dovin, why not? We need to find, we need to find our things that we want. I also have never tried to get all the planeswalkers. Oh, got it. We got it, boys. We got it. The last piece of the puzzle. Last piece of the puzzle. I'm gonna use both of these because why not? Search in the sideboard. Let's let's just get out all of our planeswalkers. Man. Uh, can you imagine other people dare to call their decks planeswalkers decks? Because I don't believe it. I honestly just don't believe it. Okay, we need one Ral. That's amazing. And now we need uh, Angram. Even better. Uh, we need we need this girl, even though we can't really play play it. And it's fine. Okay, do it like this. Oh yes. Now there's an Angram. Okay, now now do this. Now there's a Ral. God damn it. God damn it. This is this is some next level stuff right there. Just next level. Okay, so in terms of establishing dominance, I think we have done a fine job. A fine job indeed, if you ask me. Okay, no more reason to cast those things. Do I even want to draw things? No, I just want to kill his graveyard a little. Okay. We're probably not even gonna Vraska Zalti. By the way, we're, we're back at 17 HP, just 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 FYI. And almost ha all of his graveyard is completely gonzo, which is even better. Okay, seems like we're attack- OH MY GOD, WE FORGOT TO FLIP THE BOLAS! I'm an idiot! Man! Can the game handle this many planeswalkers? We're gonna see. We're gonna see. So he has one card left. I hope it's not something that kills the bulls because that would be and cli Oh, he gives up. Well, it took some time for him to understand what's going on. <laughs> took, took him exactly 6.5 planeswalkers to understand that he has lost. Well, maybe this, this is gonna be the day, boys. We only need 80 more percent and we can finally open the vault. It's actually quite annoying that the vault picture pops up even though you can't really annoy it. Because see, I'm clicking on it, but nothing happens. See, I click on it, and nothing happens. Really annoying. Okay, well, let's just play one more game. We lost horrendously the first game after we won because we're champions. And this time, well, we took 20 minutes to finish a game that uh, was already won. Because honestly, when you get the win condition with this deck, that win condition happens fast. Okay, Anticipate, it's castable, Mastermind's Acquisition, it's almost castable, and Primal Amulet and Vraska's not exactly, well, it's actually pretty decent. It just depends on how much of an aggro cunt player this person is. But yeah, as long as it's not a white aggro deck, I do believe we have, okay, this is a, wait, what exactly even is this? Ah, huh. ah. What plays an overgrown tomb and a blood crypt? And a stomping grounds. Huh, something that plays a phoenix, I see. Okay, that's pretty sad and bad, but it's fine. Okay, Mastermind's Acquisition. Probably this is gonna come in more hand. Oh, wait, we had two Raskas, that's a misplay. We're only two seconds in the goddamn game and we're already misplaying. Not gonna lie, that's, that's impressive even by my standards. Pretty impressive. Okay, do this. He can obviously not counter the Vraskas, so bye bye, Phoenix One. You will not be missed. You know, just, 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 just saying. Can't cast the Kaias just yet. Well, yes, we do have a glacial out, but no Kaias or anything. So I wonder what exactly is this guy's deck? Mastermind's acquisition. Primal amulet. Better than Mastermind's acquisition. We could acquire. Wait, what are we gonna acquire? I'm gonna probably use the acquisition. But what exactly are we looking for? I don't even know. We can't use the guy's bliss. What the fuck is that? It's a... Uh, this thing. 
who even plays that crap anymore? Well, I'll honestly know, but it's definitely not something I like, so it's dead. Being an even cast the cast down still. Okay, so Mastermind's acquisition into uh Laten? At this Jesus Christ, that's a big one. Okay. Uh point taken, you're a big dick for some reason. Probably a big dick that has uh, Gaia's Blessing, a.k.a. I'm not gonna deal with that shit. So, let's just do this. Get the Chromatic Lotter now, because it seems like the flat-out best solution for all of our predicaments. Here it is. Okay, good enough. Do this. Flip the amulet. Get Dobbins, because he's a cutie, and he de deserves to be played. Uh, then play the Lottern and play the Dovins again. That should be... <gasps> oh my god, he has Assassin's Trophy. This is gonna be a long and drawn out and hard game. 10 out of 10 would probably game again. Okay, uh, Eldest Reborn. Is there anything even he can reborn? I'm not actually even sure, but anyway, it's fine. Okay, now we just cast Dovins. Fine. We can Vrask as anything he plays, got even that, even better. Uh, we can g get back those with Gaia's Blessing. I need to discard the card, I was not prepared for this. Discard Gaia's Vrath because I'm an idiot. And see what happens. Gaia's Vrath is probably actually completely honest here, but no one cares about honesty. This is not the age of honesty and things. Okay, let's do this. And let's now Mastermind's Acquisition, ah. Uh, oh, uh, what are we acqu- Ah, uh, Bolas. Bolas seems like to be the best pick currently. So, Bolas it is. We're gonna turn him into a Planeswalker. He's gonna be proud. Okay, put something out of a grave. Does he have anything even remotely useful or threatening? A Palaka Worm. Okay, I didn't really want to do this because I'm in the Palaka Worm fan club, if you did not know. I really like the card. But it seems like I have absolutely no other choice, and I'm gonna Vraska the Palaka It's sad, but sometimes things need to be done. And this is sadly one of those times. The Palaka Worm has to go. Okay. Well, no, no, no reason to live on lost things, so Nicholas Bolas, you're up. Gonna turn you into a sweet, sweet planeswalker that draws us cards, hopefully. Don't kill him, please. Motherfucker. He's exiled now. God damn it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting deck. It's, it's, it's almost like something I would make, but, you know, worse. So, 10 out of 10 at least for trying. Ooh, this is not even that bad. Well, he's gonna draw an extra card, it seems like, and there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. But essentially, still fine. We have a bunch of Dobbins, so... Technically... Oh, what the fu- Oh, 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 no, wait. He can't even get our bolas out, so what's, what's the big deal? So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? Okay. So, we essentially have one... Uh, uh, through the sheer virtue of, well, being a lot more greedier than our opponent has been. So that's something. Yes, I'm gonna take all of these. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was a very nice test. Thank you. Uh, almost flipping the amulet, which is fine. Gonna mastermind's acquisition again. Not. Let's see, what are we acqu acquisitioning this time? Another bolas! It seems. Okay, we're doing that, and we're getting back uh, this, and this. Please let me click on stuff game, and this. Okay. A convoluted deck? Surely, but it's a fun deck, so it's fine. Okay, so we're getting bolas, we're insta-flipping it. I think we're insta-flipping it. I haven't done the math. Pretty obvious, my part, honestly. Okay. So, are we doing the minus thing to kill this guy? I think we are. Oh, mother of God. Oh, no, we're not. We're not. It's fine, boys. It's fine. So, can I not flip you? I can. Amazing. Okay, let's see how much... Oh, God, that takes exactly all, all of our mana. 
Well, you know, that's pretty good. Put a creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard. Is there any good creatures or planeswalkers I can take? No. Uh, Nicholas Bolas deals this much damage. Bye bye. It was nice knowing you. You're you're drawing one card, but I'm honestly not even too uh, too sad about it. And you're oh, he's getting the Palaka Vern back. Right. Completely forgot about that part. Okay. Whatever. No one cares. He got the Palaka Vern back. We still have a Nicholas Bolas, and he just had the gift of Paradise. That's not impressive. And why did he just tap the line of our elf? I have no idea. And probably currently a bunch of people are wondering how the fuck do I even know how to pronounce Lanvor Elf? Because I stole it and wrote it into the place where it actually dictates you how to pronounce things. Okay. So, decent plays, decent plays. Do the plus two, do the electric boogaloo, and ooh, that's nice. Okay, can we do this? Yes, we can. Okay, and everything's pretty amazing currently. We have Nicholas Bolas, Planeswalker, and we're gonna have more stuff. More stuff, boys! Oh yes, do this. Nope, that's the wrong number, but it's fine. It's fine, whatever. Sideboard? Sideboard it is. Uh, get the Tefari thing. The Pledge of Tefari Kun. And now let's get, uh, yeah, let's get Vraska's Relic, uh, Vraska the Relic Seeker. I like Vraska. Okay. Honestly, I should have probably put in some kind of, uh, what's my avatar called again? The thing I have a hentai folded of? Uh, can't remember. Oh, shit, that's bad. He's gonna kill the bolas. Okay, uh, not cool, bro. Definitely not cool, Leo. Okay, but it's fine, essentially. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of everything, just because I'm that kind of person. Now I'm gonna play Abraskas, and we're gonna do the combo wombo, because I said I'm gonna do a, re uh, a fast one. So you do that part, it's fine, completely fine, no one even knows what's, what happened. Okay, so something happens, I haven't read this card, but I know it has counters and something happens when it, when, it, when it happens. Okay, so this guy is essentially dead. Captivated audience means, oh, son of a bitch. I can't press it on the captivated audience, that's gonna be really annoying. Okay, so I need to figure out something smart to do. Too bad I don't really know what, what would be smart. Life total goes to 4, that's fine, honestly. I think, I honestly hope it's fine. So we play this, because it has the synergy with Oath of the Body. Uh, let's do this also. Okay, that's a lot of stuff and guff being done. And we need to save a little bit of mana. And now this this is the synergy we're talking about. Dovin synergizes with the Fari, who would have honestly thought. Create a black thingamajig, and this is the combo. Essentially, two turns, you can kill someone. It's a turn two, uh, it's a two turn combo. Honestly, you may say what you wish, but that's pretty goddamn impressive. Okay, one turn until that thing does something. I don't really want to see what happens. Ooh, scary. Okay, that's essentially scary, but whatever. So we're gonna sack all of our hand, obviously. But yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Actually, that was a stupid play. Now, now that I think about it. Okay, so did we lose? <laughs> Have we lost? Have we actually lost somehow? I think we have. This card, the hand, There's absolutely nothing left for us. Okay, we haven't lost. Magic. Magic and happiness and everything, boys. Magic and happiness. Mastermind's acquisition, we have not even clo we are not even close to losing. You know what? We were faking this all, all along. Absolutely, completely faked. Okay, get the Angrams because he played an Angrams. Wait, why are we why didn't we somehow use the primal wellspring? Have no clue. Okay. 
Oh, right, he had one HP, I forgot. He could have won, like, a billion years earlier. I just got Angrams because I like the Angrams Planeswalker, and that's pretty much it. I completely forgot he's on one HP. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, do a little bit more progress and, uh, to the vault. We only need 18 more percent and we can finally open the vault. I know some of you have been itching for it, but we're gonna sooner or later get the 18 percent. Oh no, right, we need to open M19 because rotations. Well, one Exelon will not hurt, I assume. So, uh, Ravel and Riches, that's the third copy, so that's good, I think. And this is a uh, something something scepter time manipulation. Okay. Okay. We could honestly do a deck that still uh, that still continuously creates a uh, 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 you know perpetual time warp, aka a nexus of fate deck without a nexus of fate deck with that card. I think it is possible. So anyway, this this is the deck. That's pretty much it. So, this is Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Check out the Discord. And check out the Patreon. And have a nice day. Bye bye.